What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So I want to jump in really quick and get a daily increase and see what is going on for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective. You guys, I do know that we are late with this daily increase, but it is better late than never. Let's see, Spirit. This is going to be for your Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that Ninth House. Very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest. So we have this star who's coming in to usher us into this late start. Follow your heart. Truth prevails. It's star Inner learning. Ooh. And Kali Ma is at the bottom of the deck with divine severance. So this is the energy that is on offer for you this morning. There is some sort of upper, like there's the energy that is on offer is for the truth to prevail forward. There's an opportunity to follow your heart, to sever cords from the drama, from the fears and limitations. So there's an opportunity for your heart to lead the way here. Okay, um, it is going to require you to disconnect from the desire to feed into some sort of drama, fear and or limitation, though. Let's see, spirit. What is the energy? What is being asked of Sagittarius in order to embrace this a star energy? What does Sag need to surrender in order to embrace a star's energy that is on our offer? Thank you, spirit. Surrender to prayer. Surrender to prayer. Um, it says, give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard through the universe and answers and support will arrive. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So um, if I'm going to be honest with you with all of this yellow, this is really understanding that, um, I don't know, this is the third chakra is what it's given me, that solar plexus. And that speaks about your willpower. So I feel like that this is that energy of trying to control, like understanding that. Um, uh oh. Um, I don't know. I feel like that you're trying to go about this, or like you're trying to achieve a change inside of a situation physically, like you're trying to do behaviors, like you're trying to take physical action steps to control the narrative of a particular situation. And the universe is actually asking you to surrender to prayer in order to gain clarity, because what is happening is meant to happen. Let's see how this is affected. Let's see, what is the energy? What is the situation that is meeting Sagittarius? What is the energy that is meeting Sagittarius here. It is time for the truth to prevail because I do feel like that there is some sort of lie. There is some sort of limiting belief that you're telling yourself that is like, it's just limiting your truth. It's, 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 it's not allowing you to see the full truth. A star is here to try to illuminate the truth for you. But in order for this truth to be illuminated, you have to stop trying to take certain actions to control the narrative and begin to ask what is the purpose in this situation so that you can begin to see why this situation is playing out. So then you can begin to get the correct navigation as to how to navigate the, how to navigate the course, right? How is this situation, of, like, what is the energy that is meeting Sagittarius at this day? What is the energy that is meeting Sagittarius? What is the situation? What is the energy? Hunger. See, and there goes more of that yellow. There goes more of that yellow. So you're definitely hungry for something. You're wanting something. Even Kalima has this yellow here. Istara has this yellow here. So there could be some sort of low self-esteem. You could be over analytical of like, you could be over analytical of yourself. See, it's like this yellow and this purple is what is leading the way today. So just keep that in mind. Um <laughs> Go Lakers, RIP Kobe.
and Gianna, I think her name was Gianna. Um, yeah, cleanse. So I definitely feel like that you're hungry. There is something creative that is brewing internally, but it does require like there's a cleanse that needs to take place in order for this creativity to blossom through. And that is that surrendering the outdated thinking, surrendering the fact, you know, sometimes that outdated thinking is just feeling like that we have to put in the, like we have to work so hard. Like we got to put in that elbow grease to get something. Sometimes that can be the outdated thinking, especially in the energy that I'm feeling. Maybe you're trying to go about something the hard way through grit. And this really isn't a situation to achieve success. Like this isn't to achieve success in this situation. It doesn't require grit. It requires prayer and it requires surrender. Let's see. I hope that this message is finding you all in good health and in good spirits. All right, spirit, if you could please show me clearly and accurately, what is the situation that is showing up for Sagittarius today? What is the challenge that is showing up? What is the possible, like, what is the advice to navigate the challenges? What is on the other side of this day? And from the bottom of the day, can you please show me how Sag is showing up? Thank you, spirit. I will take that as a situation. If it's one, it's two. Okay. I'm going to still take it. It's the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This, the challenge here. Wow. The Sun card. The advice to navigate the challenge. The Tower card. What's on the other side of today? The Three of Cups. And how Sag is showing up? The Eight of Swords in the reverse. So you're definitely getting out of your head. Um, but it's not with, it's almost like, you're definitely setting yourself free from a situation. And I think that you're having a hard time being optimistic about setting yourself free from this. Um, if you're having a hard time being optimistic, I feel like that spirit is telling you with the tower card, it's time to make a radical change. You've made you have set yourself free from something and now it's going to require acclimation and it's also going to require a structure change, right? So don't expect everything to be rainbows and unicorns right after setting yourself free from a situation that you possibly have been codependent on. Okay. This could be an actual person. Um, this could be like a job. Let's see. What is this nine of pentacles in the reverse to the king of pentacles? What is this saying for the situation for my lovely Sagittarian ninth house collective? I'm not going to lie, Sag. I'm not really getting love from this. I feel like that this is a creative venture. You're hungry for success at something. You're hungry for success at something. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, I do feel like that that's telling me that you're kind of like like a sense of your a sense of who you are is attached to this thing that you're trying to achieve. Like it's almost like yeah, but if I don't achieve this, Kiana, like what else have what else do I have left? So let's see, what is this saying for Sagittarius? Happy October, guys. Happy October. Timeless message, but I am recording this on October the 1st. Wow. Six of wands and temperance. I'm telling you what, you are codependent on, on having success here. Like it's like you have a lot riding. Yeah. With the high priestess here, but there's some repressed emotion. Like there, I will say this. It's like you have a lot riding on what it is that you're trying to accomplish here. And I do feel like that you have the potential to be victorious here. I do. With temperance and the six of wands, they're saying with the right amount of balance, patience, and moderation, you can have success here. Okay? You can have success here. Um, but there is this repressed, there is this repressed despair. Like there's some despair underneath that is repressed. And because it's not getting any attention, 
it does appear to be kind of festering, if I'm going to be honest with you. And with it festering, because even though you're setting yourself free, you're not really addressing the subconscious energy and that subconscious energy is festering and it's making it difficult for you to make this radical change. So the way to address, to make the radical change is to begin to address the festering fear underneath or despair underneath hopelessness. So the challenge here is the sun card. Let's look at the sun card for the challenge. The three of pentacles in the tower in the reverse. The two of wands in the reverse. Um, um, I do feel like that for some of you all, I feel like that the challenge is you're being optimistic about some sort of collaboration, some sort of apprenticeship. Some You're very pessimistic about some sort of apprenticeship and it's causing resistance, okay? It's definitely causing resistance. What is the three of pentacles? I really need to know if this is a person or a job or like there's just something that you're meant to be working in like teamwork together. There's definitely some disharmony. There's, It's like there's some pessimism that is creating disharmony and creating resistance and you making a change. I really don't necessarily, is this a person? Can I please get either a major arcana or a court card if this three of pentacles is a person? Yeah, see, no, it's, it's a, with the eight of cups. This is telling me, yeah, and the four of cups. So this is telling me that... Um, You're 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 have there's still some emotional baggage, fear, anxiety, past experiences that are affecting your optimism here. It's like you I don't know if you're constantly thinking about missing an opportunity or constantly feeling like you don't have enough resources being poured into you. But there's some sort, especially with hunger, I feel like that there could be this energy of feeling like you don't have enough resources poured in you. So you're pessimistic about a situation. Therefore, your resistance to change. What is this tower in the reverse? I want you to know that you can cut the cords to drama, fear, and limitation. You can do so. Yeah, the tower in the reverse, which you're resisting, is the five of wands. I mean, like you're resisting putting an end to some sort of conflict because of your pessimism on the lack of support, okay? I definitely feel like that there's something that you're codependent on. Like there's something that you're trying to achieve. And you're, you've got a lot riding on achieving this. But there is, I do feel like that you have the potential to achieve this, to have success at this. But you are going to have to address the pessimism. The pessimism that is festering subconsciously is causing you to come off as very combative, okay? Let's look at the tower for the advice. Because there is a need to, the advice when the tower comes in the advice position, it is about making a radical change. Why is the tower here in the advice position? Thank you, spirit, the devil. Yeah, see, um, there's a need to make a radical change and really claim your power. I feel like that you're allowing trust issues to, 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 um, to, to precede you. Trust issues are preceding you. And um, therefore, I 
I definitely feel like that there is a need to make a radical change and face one's demons, for sure. Like, it's definitely time to start looking at the fear monsters that are fueling your thought process here. That's the advice, is to understand that you're in control of your thoughts. And when you feel like you're out of control of your thoughts, it's time to surrender those thoughts <coughs> over to the divine. I do feel like that there are trust issues. For some of you all, I'm just going to say it. Some because And I feel like that it's coming through so vague because it's not a main storyline, but it's here and I can't keep ignoring it. Some of you all, there is a third party, okay? There is a third party here. There is, like, for some of you all, um, the situation is some of you are codependent on a king of pentacles. And I'm not sure that this king of pentacles is available, okay, emotionally. Because this person is currently walking away from a situation that they was actively collaborating in. And I feel like that Sagittarius, you may be kind of like, hey, you may have been turning a blind eye to this for so long. And it's almost saying like with the Eight of Swords being in the reverse, it's almost like you kind of set your, like, it's like you kind of put yourself in some sort of self-imposed entrapment that caused you not to see this reality. And now it's like the reality is being seen today. So it's time. So the advice is to radically set your, like make a radical change and set yourself free and really ask yourself, why is it that this unavailable situation is what you're going towards? I do feel like that you are I do feel like that there is some sort of an awareness of a third party for some of you all in this situation. Remember, guys, third party doesn't always have to be romantically. Some of you all, this it, this has nothing to do with romance. And the third party energy really is your storyline up in your head with outdated beliefs. But I can't ignore this storyline. And it is telling me that some of you all are actively entertaining a third party situation and spirit is saying that it's time to set yourself free from that. And I actually feel like that you're starting your day aware of this. However, you may have the urge and the tendency to fight this re reality. You may want to turn a blind eye to this reality because you feel codependent on this situation. Okay. All right, so um, we got the three of cups for what's on the other side of today. Let's look at this. Guys, I hope that these messages are finding you all in good health and in good spirits. Yikes. So we have the justice, the strength, the queen of wands, and there goes that eight of swords, queen of pentacles. Three of Swords in the reverse. Um, you may be married to this person. You may be married to this person. Um, I'm going to be honest. I can't. I, I mean, you know. For some of you all, you're finding out that your position has been given to. Um, it's like. You're recognizing that you didn't get the promotion. The promotion was given to someone else. Um, you are setting yourself free from something, okay? As I get over here towards the end, I'm not going to lie. It's just like screaming like there's an injustice that is coming to light um, that breaks down the confidence in a relationship, and it does end in it looks like conflict within a relationship on the other side of today. I feel like that there is this energy or this is like the realization because you're starting the day in the eight of swords in the reverse. So it's just almost telling me like you're done. Like you're starting the day like you could have had a revelation yesterday or last night. And so you're coming into it like I am not getting ready to do this anymore. I'm not getting ready to stay trapped into this anymore. 
So I do feel like that on the other side of today, there is there. It's almost like some sort of injustice comes about. A, like, I definitely feel like that there is an unhealthy social life that comes to light, and it is an injustice. Something could be significant with August the eleventh. Okay, this is something that could have happened on August the eleventh or November the eighth could be significant here. Okay, um, but I definitely feel like that it looks like some sort of injustice um, about. A third party. It does come to light on the other side of to this, and it does appear to me like it damages. Um, someone made a coward the fucking decision. Someone went in, like it was a major injustice. They made a cowardice decision. Um, and whatever this decision is, it definitely takes away the strength and fortitude that this connection had, okay? Or this job had, or your, like, it's definitely something that you was, like, you had a lot riding on this. I don't think that, like, just, like, let's just say that this is a job and you got passed over for a promotion. I do feel like that you end up, like, you still have success, okay? Like, the temperance in the Six of Wands is here. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Six of Wands is victory and success. So, Sag, I do feel like that you have victory and success. You just may have to go about it in a different way because the way that you have been going about it is, is based out of some sort of outdated thinking. See, now we have surrendered defensiveness here. So, Spirit, is this an active third party? Can I get a major arcana? Queen of Swords, no, this is what you're having to cut away from. So you're having to cut through the bitterness from a previous third party. This is not an active third party, but you're, this is the reason why it's coming up as if it's active is because this is the energy that you're having to set yourself free from. This is, this is what the Eight of Swords has been for you. You've been up in your head about some sort of um, injustice about a third party between someone that you're held in on having victory with. Let's look at this Eight of Swords in the reverse for Sag. Why is Sag showing up as the Eight of Swords in the reverse? The major arcana is out here on the board. We do have a double tower here. We have the devil card. We have the sun card and we have temperance, justice and the strength. So double Leo. Why is the eight of swords showing up for Sag? The eight of wands, you're moving forward. You're, you're setting yourself free and moving forward after gaining clarity here. You're setting yourself free from some sort of head fog. You've been stuck and stagnant, obsessing over a situation that is not being yielding results. There's some sort of introspection that you've been doing on that. And it like, oh, so I, this is definitely you waving the white flag to have a new beginning. Yeah, this is you going in the direction to have some sort of new beginning with the five of cups. And it does come after a time of you. It, it comes. So the eight of wands is in the upright to clarify the eight of swords in the reverse. 88 could be significant. So I feel like the Sagittarius has set themselves free. Um, starting this day out, you're setting yourself free from some sort of self-imposed imprisonment and actually moving forward, recognizing that there was some sort of head clog, like there was some sort of head fog around a situation that just wasn't yielding the results that you had expected. So I do feel like that you went in and done some sort of introspection and illuminated, found this creativity and allowed for this cleansing to take place so that this, you could take this leap of faith that results in growth, right? I do feel like that you go this, you, you end up with this person. I do feel like that you go in a direction that you end up in a union, a commitment 
with an emperor okay for sure um this could be but this could have to do with work it doesn't necessarily have to be but i feel like that you and this person end up working out the differences like you you all end up working out the disharmonies within the foundation of whatever this situation is for you but it is only after you're able to surrender the defensiveness that you have because of whatever you feel like you was passed over or the or the fact that there was a third party in the past so either this is a job that you was passed over for a promotion or you didn't get the respect that you felt like you was due at one point in time you guys are getting an opportunity to turn a new leaf here so either this is a connection that you feel like that there was a third party and you're still holding on to the resentment here you're getting an opportunity to turn a new leaf Take that as it resonates, but it does require you to get out of your head about it. It requires you to sever the cords. It requires you to divine severance, okay? Alchemize, release the old way and make room for the new way. This was a beautiful daily increase. Um, let me see. What are we at? 25. Yeah, let me get a message if you're relating to this in love. If Sagittarius is relating to this in love, Spirit, what is the message? Thank you. Oh, wow. We got quite a bit. Yeah, power play graceful dance and radiant love. So I definitely feel like that you and this person are definitely facing some insecurities, okay? If you're relating to this in love, I do feel like that insecurity insecurities are flu influencing the desire for control and dominance here within this relationship. And there is a need to lift each other. Like this is the energy of really learning what like this is about understanding who you're dealing with. I do. I'm just going to be honest with you. If this is love for you, I feel like that you and someone are, are asking for a clean slate. You're being given the navigations as to how to obtain a clean slate. I don't think the universe is cleaning the slate for you, but the universe is giving you the navigation needed to clean the slate. But in order to do so, it does require um, optimism and it requires um, openness. Okay. It requires for you all to understand the, the techniques of a graceful dance. You know what I'm saying? Understanding that sometimes naturally the man leads, but then sometimes naturally the woman does take the lead. Okay. So it's about learning to gracefully flow in a situation that works for you. For those of you all that are relating to this in love, look, relationships is right here at the bottom of the day. So for those that are relating to this message in work and career spirit, what is the message? Thank you. In flow, the universe is sending you help. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. Harmony. So it's... um. It says it is important for you to have a quiet, peaceful work atmosphere in order for you to thrive. Working at home or for yourself is best. So the universe could be putting you in a position to, to work from home. But in order for you to work from home, I do want you to know that I do feel like that spirit is asking you to be in some sort of flow state because you're learning something where you're currently at that is going to help you harmonize what needs to be harmonized so that you can have a peaceful work environment, okay? Yeah, spiritual work, my goodness. Um, For some of you all, there is a need to do some sort of inner, like doing some inner work can help you get clear before you move on from this position, okay? So if you're looking to leave a position or if you're looking for a promotion, spirit is saying, do some sort of internal work and that could actually like do some internal cleaning because that puts you in alignment for the very thing that you're seeking okay but i do see more money coming for you okay finances is on is on the table but it does require you to get in alignment with it which means that you have to address some sort of lack mindset that may have you trapped at this time okay 
All right, let's get a numerology message to close this up. Thank you, Spirit. 1144, high vibes. Love and other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than in your wildest dream. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. So you have to release, like you're so hungry and you're trying to control what, like, I'm hungry, but y'all only want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. And spirit is like, hold up, time out. Is you hungry or is you not? Because if you hungry, I got something for you that will sustain your hunger. But it might not be the thing that you would technically choose for your liking, okay? But vibe high. Divine intervention is here. There are faded events. It requires you to have faith. This is putting you in touch with your higher calling, which is why the universe is trying to say, I need you to surrender through prayer on this day. The truth is trying to prevail, but your desire to control is actually restricting the ability of the truth to prevail. Okay. I hope that that helps you, Sagittarius. I absolutely love you. I hope that you um, have a wonderful day. If this message offered you some guidance, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. Peace, love, and light. I think I already read the, the majors to you. We have Capricorn. We have um, Aries. We have Scorpio. We have Leo. We have Libra. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day.